Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Hi, little nuggets. So, it's come to my attention. Some of you want a little blowout hair tutorial. I think that when I first started out, I was really just like confused. And I would always see girls who have like really fine, thin hair do blowouts. And then when I went to do it myself, I was like, wow, this is like 10 times harder. Like I'm struggling. You're going to go in with a detox shampoo first because it gets off all the residue and oils and gross shit out of your hair. And then condition. And then <sighs> it's blowout time, baby. Oh, something else that also really cuts down the drying time, because I feel like that's the most annoying part of giving yourself a blowout, is just getting like a microfiber hair towel thing works wonders it's a gentle on your hair you're not like tugging your hair bits out why does it keep not focusing okay. 10 out of 10 recommend not a necessity but definitely a little something that i like to do that helps okay to prep my hair for the blowout i like to go in with like a leave-in conditioner and i'm gonna give you guys two options here this one is more affordable it's shea moisture Hydrate, repair, multi-action leave-in. Okay, you can get it at CVS, Walgreens, Target, whatever. I think it's $10.99. I could be wrong. I actually don't know how much this one is. It's not coming to mind, but it's by Odell. They sent it to me. I actually ended up really liking it. I think it's a little more pricey. I could be wrong, though. You guys, sometimes talking to your camera is so hard. Like, because it's just not a person, and there's no one actively engaging in the conversation, so you have to, like, make the conversation in your head. Ugh. Next step is you're going to use a nice heat protectant. I originally started using them because they reached out um, to do a little brand collab on my TikTok. But then I accidentally became <laughs> addicted. And I can't stop using this for blowouts. It's just so good. It's such a good heat protectant. And it leaves my hair nice and silky smooth, which is exactly what I want. So we're going to go in with that. It's literally empty, pretty much. So I'm using the scraps oh no now the drying part i hate this because i have so much hair my hair is actually kind of looking really good right now you're gonna need a claw clip and you're gonna section off i take my thumbs and i go down like that just so you have this like under the last layer of your hair, okay? Oh, you can use a Revlon brush, you can use a $20 brush, it doesn't matter. As long as it is a brush that and heat comes out of it and it blow dries, you're set, okay? Look, in all my years of searching YouTube, I've never seen um, someone give out this tip, so I'm just gonna, it's like a very particular thing that I do. Make a little rat tail just to get it out of the way because I have so much thickness in my hair that if I just leave the hair that I dried, it gets in the way of my wet hair that needs to be dried, it gets in the way of that drying. It, and it lets like the heat like penetrate better, if you know what that means. Claw clip off and do the same thing, it's section off another chunk of my hair you don't want it to be too thick i don't know like what you'd put in a straightener kind of like this would be like a good amount you know put the dry hair in a little rat tail get it out of the way continue on with your blowout section off your hair again okay we're going in for rat tail number three i think and then we're gonna section off the last and final piece to blow dry. Sincerely, this does make a difference in the drying time. Like it cuts it back so much. They got this whole working overtime. Look, I don't have any techniques for drying, whatever. Just dry that hoe and get it done. I finished drying my hair. I'm a little sweaty. I'm taking a little moment to cool off. Look at my new Hydra Flask. She's a beauty. And then I also got the Rogue Lip Balm and they just match like so perfectly. Mm -mm -mm. That is too good. We're gonna think of our hair in 
four parts again. Just like you did four rat's tails, <laughs> you're gonna do four, four of these sections in your hair. I'm gonna start with this back piece right here. Inward. You're gonna take another section up at the top here and roll it just like that. Roll it that way. Oh, you're gonna take a little section here. You're gonna roll it into your face. So like that for this section right here. You're gonna put your roller in and roll it towards your head. And it's okay if it's messy. Like your your um, rollers don't have to be like perfectly positioned and everything like that. So you're gonna repeat one, two, three for the other side of your head. One, two, three. And ta-da! So now both of my section B's, okay? A, B, they all, they have three rollers on each side, okay? Now, the next section, section C, you're going to roll it away from your face. So you're going to roll it that way, not this way. Got it? A, B, C. Now we're gonna do section D. Now the last sections, usually I don't have a lot of hair, so I just use one or two each. I'm gonna put that bad boy the rollers, okay? 1950s housewife. Now while my hair is setting, I like to go in with L'Oreal Lock It Weather Control Hairspray, okay? You can get this at CVS, Walgreens, it's I think like 9 bucks. It's really affordable and I like to spray lightly, just everywhere. I like to let my hair sit for like 10, 20 minutes, depends how much time I have to get ready. Obviously, the longer your hair sits, the better. The time has gone by and now we're going to take out all the clippy clips that you put in the rollers. Just get them out of your hair. I believe I got them all out and now I'm just going to tug on all my rollers. And it's going to look messy and frizzy. Don't worry about that. Just take them all out and the, just trust the process. The final result will be really pretty. It's like whatever. There you go. So far, okay. Look how beautiful that is. You're gonna want to add a humidity shield, especially if you have curly hair like me. So I just kind of spritz that everywhere. Sometimes I go in with a little bit more hairspray, very lightly, just like. So my hair holds its shape. My camera's gonna die. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Okay, you're gonna I go in with some Giso Giso and I put it on my ends, put it like a little bit here because I get really dry and frizzy. And that is blowout. That's how I do it. That's how I've been doing it. If you want to see the back, I think it looks pretty good. But I think I can do a pretty decent job. So, thank you if you watched this video, okay? Just want to say thanks because I don't get a lot of views on my YouTube videos. I know one day they'll have hundreds of thousands of views, but I'm not there yet, unfortunately. <laughs> so, that's it for today. My little blowout tutorial. I hope you guys learned something from me. And if you didn't, I'm so sorry.